Hey, good morning, folks. Friday morning, Dunkin' Donuts run. How's everyone doing? We made it. It's Friday. Baseball's back in swing. I got the stupid walking cast off my foot, so I got a clean bill of health from, from my orthopedist. Life is good. Um, let's talk about let's talk about talking, and let's talk about listening, because um, I don't know about you, but wow, am I sick of having a national tragedy on a weekly basis? How about you? Um, you know, and and as much as I love social media and all the promise it brings and all the opportunities to to bring people together and an amazing platform like LinkedIn, right? Um, For all its greatness, boy, did it also deliver the opportunity for um, us to dig a little deeper into our own ideological trenches, right? I mean, I'm guilty of it myself. But whenever a national tragedy pops up, like what happened in, in Tennessee this week, and my God, does my heart break for those for those parents, for all involved. It's as a dad myself, like you just, I, I don't, I can't get my head around how you move on from there. I know you do, I know you have to, but my God, don't tell me prayers are good enough. Prayers are always good enough. Pray, pray. Anyway, whenever stuff like this pops up, everyone immediately rushes to, here's my point of view. Here's how you fix the problem. Politicians will will jump on TikTok and let you know how awful the other side is for not thinking like them. But nobody talks and nobody listens and nobody acts in a way that's in the best interest of of the people they're ostensibly trying to connect, right? We've got armed guards at banks. We've got armed guards at jewelry stores. Whenever there's a celebrity or a politician making an appearance, we sure shit have armed guards there. But if we're talking about how much we care about the children and we're not protecting them, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 performative in my mind. And we just we we need to stop throwing out talking points. And we need to stop assuming that we know how other people think based on what box they ticked in, in the voting poll and actually have discussions about this. And there are ways that we can do it in our own personal lives. There are ways that we can do it, especially if we're in leadership positions at companies. Don't assume that you know how somebody thinks or feels or what they've been through or what their motives are or what challenges they're they're wrestling with based on the way they look or where they come from or how they vote <laughs> or or what their their online presence is because you just you don't know the bottom line is you don't know but if you talk actually talk actively listen to the other side and have discussions and figure out ways to solve problems, that's where the strength comes in, right? That's where things happen. That's the sweet spot. Talking and listening and understanding and empathizing is the sweet spot where action happens, positive action happens. So, whew, didn't expect that to come out on this morning's coffee drive. These are usually light and frothy topics, aren't they? So, anyway, obviously... I'm feeling pretty strongly about this stuff. I'm sure a lot of people who watch this will be in the same boat. But, you know, my my, my most fervent wish is that we all, myself included, get a little bit out of our own pocket, get a little bit out of our own entrenched mindset, and and seek to understand others. And let's just figure something out. So I, I think ultimately, deep down, we all want the same things, right? We all want the same things. Anyway, that's it. Wow, I'm worn out. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing, restful, uneventful weekend. Um, love you guys. God bless. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Griffin, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.